Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another vlog and this vlog is all about gratitude it's about things that I'm that are my favorites lately um, I notice I'm on this gratitude journey and I notice that um, when I look at things like, oh you know I really like this thing it helps me to build this, this gratitude muscle and so I want to do my favorites like this is my favorite um, this month or this you know spirit of my life this I'm finding this to be my favorite I want to do these vlogs and share with you because um, it helps me to really pay attention to things that I already have that are already in my surrounding and helps me to be more appreciative to Allah Zawajal, and it builds my gratitude and hopefully it inspires you to do your favorites and to look at things around you with a different eye bi'idhnillah so without further delay let's go into it it's a mix of different things inshallah so let's start with coconut water these days i'm enjoying coconut water a lot and i also have this straw that i got on amazon that is like a you know you could use it it's not a plastic straw and it's a glass one and i'm able to use it it's so cute with the flower and uh, I love the two things that I love here is my coconut water and that straw. I really appreciate coconut water during the summer because I feel like it helps with the hydration. So definitely coconut water is part of my favorites lately, especially during summer. Um, another favorite of mine is to put my headband on my hijabs. I love doing that. It just it dresses it up and especially at home. I don't really do it going outside, but I love doing that um, at home. Uh, when I'm teaching, um, I don't have to wear hijab at home, but when I teach, I do like to wear the hijab. And also, um, I love, love, love uh, walking outside, looking at the sky. I'm really enjoying teaching from the park. Like this is a bench on my way to the library that is just beautiful because it's facing like a whole park and uh, usually there's not that many people when I go there I see how empty it is but I'm just really enjoying the green the blue it's just amazing we are you know in summer pretty much now and uh, everything is green and I'm absolutely loving that um, when I came here everything was kind of gray so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah another thing that I'm really enjoying is this quote that I found on uh, on Facebook and just let's let's just you know break it down a little bit if Allah delays his answer he is increasing your patience okay so when if Allah answers your du'as he is increasing your faith another win if he does not answer Allah has something better in store for you another win I love the positivity from this post I don't know who wrote it uh, I really don't know who to give the credit to for this post but I love 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 I love it I just think it's, it's something it's a reminder to even frame you know uh, for those days where you get was was or you feel down it you know for the believer everything is here and I'm loving loving that about my faith now you know sis being women of Quran now platform that we have to bring the Quran in so I'm loving studying listening and teaching the Quran and the, and there's a class I'm really excited about right now that is coming up June 7th registration is open and sits are limited because I cannot I don't want to have too many sisters to teach the hymns I want to have a few sisters and really give you guys my undivided attention uh, and make it count for you so definitely look it up it's in the description below um, another thing is has been I mean tremendously it has been listening the recitation of Quran and especially this Qira'ah called um, Khalafa and Hamza oh my god I am loving it and that was one of my favorites <laughs> Another favorite Quran related is this podcast called Hiv Status. Look them up on YouTube. Oh my goodness. It, they, I mean, uh, the brother is interviewing all these young Hufath about their journey, and there's so much wisdom that is packed with tips on you know staying on this his journey and, and 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 holding on strong until you reach you know i don't even know if there's a destination because you once you complete like they say muraja is everything you have to spend most of your life revising but subhanallah 
the tips that they give is just i'm loving it honestly the interviews are long but it's filled with beneficial uh information and that it's absolutely one of my favorite lately um i think i watch most of the interviews i still have a few to watch but it's just really I, I'm, I'm smiling like this particular interview no not this one there was another one with a father and his two sons i was just smiling the whole time <laughs> oh my god the best for you. Mm. You pinpoint the Quran Allahumma into your timetable, Allahumma and then you Allahumma set your timetable and everything else in your life around the Quran. And once you do that, then you will see, inshallah, you know, the Quran will come to you, and the Quran will automatically, you know, you develop that relationship with the Quran, mm-hmm. and you will find it easy to memorize the Quran, inshallah. That's very, very profound, subhanAllah. That's so true. And how? If I didn't go to suffer for six days a week, I'll still have those three hours. Mm. You know, that's mm. the thing. So everyone's got the same time. We've all got 24 hours. Right? We've all got the same time. Um, so Allah. it's up to you. How do you use your time? And because we're all different, you know, we've all got different responsibilities and different priorities. So everyone's situation is different. But you have to find a timetable that suits you. And you have to make a timetable around your life. Because mm. at the end of the day, this 24 hours, it's not our 24 hours. We were created by Allah. Allah. And these also these 24 hours if you're we're only asking to read the quran one or two hours think about it, at max you know i didn't read the quran i'll be honest more than two hours i didn't read i was a maximum if you think we've got 24 hours you're only giving two hours for the quran you've got 22 hours left to do <laughs> everything else <laughs> your exams your response you know your school your whatever you want to wow. do you've got the other 24 22 hours so even just giving one hour for the quran So one uh, thing that I find very helpful in uh, actually increasing the amount of time you spend with the Quran is to have, you could have the Quran on your phone. I also like to bring that portable one when I want to be away from my phone. You know, like I showed you the nice bench at the park and you want to be away from your digital, like your phone, the screen. Um, Have one of those small pocket, you know, small Quran like you see the one on my picture right here is easily put in the uh, in your purse and uh, subhanallah you can i was going to the library at the library sometimes you're tired you want to break you can just open it and read even if it's like five ayat you know and just take those small amount pockets of time to just read inshallah um, another uh, thing that i'm really loving uh, lately is my new purse i have a new purse alhamdulillah it's able to carry most of my stuff and i don't feel like i'm carrying because i used to carry my book bag and I, my purse and now i'm able to carry everything that i actually really need in one bag and uh, Allah mubarak i'm really it's one of my favorites right now um i'm a purse person though but <laughs> so that is definitely if you know me you know i love purses but alhamdulillah i, I I'm so much better. Yeah, some people love shoes. That's how I love purses. But I'm so much better these days, alhamdulillah. So yeah, um, that is a new one. Another one of my favorite is my soul care planner. Women of Quran now planner. It is my own planner, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I spent a lot of time in it. Um, and I do a lot of planning, self-accountability, um, strategizing um you know gratitude tauba uh, setting beautiful intentions you know visualizing putting my routines and changing my routines so um yeah i definitely i'm spending a lot of time with the planner it's a digital planner and um if you're interested in it i also put the link uh, of it in the description yeah that's pretty much the favorites that i wanted to share with you guys uh enjoy your summer and yeah put in the comments if there are some favorites that you have um late like right now are there some favorite things that you do that you watch that you listen to that you are engaged with um that you just want to thank allah for um and and so yeah let's all build that gratitude muscle because honestly um it helps us to not focus on what we don't have like focus on everything that you have just being able to see all these colors subhanallah that that by itself is priceless there's no price that you could put on this if somewhere were to ask you i'm going to give you you know this much and you won't be able to see anymore would you accept it so alhamdulillah 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 assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh